Yael Zubiri for his uh, speech. We recognize okay. Senator, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri. Thank you very much, Madam President. My President, Mr. President, my esteemed colleagues, I rise on a matter of collective and personal privilege. I've always said that I serve at the pleasure of my colleagues and I thank them for entrusting me with the monumental responsibility of leading the Senate over the past two years. It has been my greatest honor, greatest honor of my life as a public servant and the greatest challenge. Never could I have imagined as a neophyte senator learning the ropes from some of the best luminaries of the Senate in Senate history, such as Ed Angara, Joker Arroyo, Miriam Defensor Santiago, Juan Ponce Enrile, Frank Drillon, and many others, that I would one day bear the blessing and burden of the Senate presidency itself. I have given this job my all. Not only have I maintained my untarnished record as a public servant and my streak of perfect attendance since 1998, but I have also done my best to rise to the occasion as a leader responsible for this entire institution and everyone under its care. Today, I look back on these two years with immense pride on what the Senate has accomplished and stood for under my leadership. In these two years, we have legislated with an eye towards progress and a heart for service. We have spearheaded landmark measures, measures as the Public-Private Partnership Code, the Maharlika Investment Fund, the Internet Transactions Act, the Real Property Valuation Assessment Reform Act, the LGU Income Classification Act, and the Anti-Financial Scamming Act, and many, many other measures that bring a more dynamic economic landscape and create more jobs and opportunities for our people. On the table, we have more economic measures that we expect to pass soon, primarily, primarily the Create More and the New Government Procurement Act. Our first year was led by our mission of national reconstruction. We had to look inwards to assess what we lost during the pandemic and build solutions from there. But in our second year, we could afford to stretch our necks out a bit more and we could look outward and explore opportunities for bilateral and multilateral cooperation. We could afford to reach out to establish stronger presence on the global stage. In a historic move, never been, I mean, we've never had this man or the, the, that level of leadership from Japan. We called the joint session to hear an address from Japanese Prime Minister Kishida Fumio. It was us. Our dear colleagues, we invited him to, to address the joint session of Congress in our trip to Japan. And we had the honor of listening to a message from the former Senate UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon in this very hall at the invitation of this Senate. In each of all these exchanges, we were able to advocate for better conditions and opportunities for Filipino workers abroad. And we're able to explore possibilities in defense cooperation trade agreements, academic and cultural exchanges, agricultural partnerships towards a more globally involved Philippines. Last year, the Senate successfully hosted the 31st annual meeting of the Asia Pacific Parliamentary Forum, a move that allowed us to strengthen our bilateral and multilateral relationships and tell the world that we are here, ready to partner in progress alongside the rest of the democratic world. We work to secure peace in the region so we can protect our fisher folk and their livelihood here on our waters. We reached out to draw investors in so we can create more jobs for our people. Sahulit sahulit sahuli, iuwi natin lahat ng ating ginagawa para sa bayan at para sa taong bayan. While we work on hitting the goal of becoming an upper middle class income economy in the next few years, we also know that ultimately development is not just about GDP growth. Walang tunay na kaunlaran hanggat may Pilipinong namamatay sa gutom o sa kawalan ng serbisyong medikal. Walang tunay na kaunlaran hanggat may mga kabataan tumitigil sa pag-aaral 
para magtrabaho para sa kanilang mga pamilya. Walang tunay na kaunlaran hanggat hindi matatanggap o natatanggap ng manggagawang, manggagawang Pilipino ang dissenting sahod. Senate President or not, I will continue to push for the welfare, the welfare of our laborers until they receive decent wages that they deserve. The Senate has also been a committed partner to the armed forces of the Philippines and Coast Guard in defending the nation. No Senate has been more outspoken in opposing foreign aggression than the one that sits today. Unless we be accused of being all talk, let me assure you that this Senate has been working hand in hand with the armed forces and the Coast Guard in making necessary budget allocations for the procurement of maritime assets, arms, and defense systems. Lagi ko nga pong sinasabi, hindi nagkukulang sa puso at tapang ating mga sundalo at membro ng Coast Guard. Kailangan lang tapatan natin ang tamang mga kagamitan at mga sasakyan pagdipandagat at panghimpapawid para tulungan silang ipaglaban ng ating bansa. Of course, none of these measures and budgetary allocations would have reached the President's table without the vital work of our Senate employees. I want to thank from the bottom of my heart the members of the Office of the Secretary, Secretary Ray Bantug, Legislative, Administrative and Finance Services, of course, Attorney Mavic, External Affairs and Relations, the Office of the Sergeant at Arms, my dear friend, my loyal friend and good friend, General Ankan, who ensure the security of the Senate and of course the staff of the Senators who are all crucial to every step of lawmaking, to the whole Secretariat. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. I love you guys, you know that. So as Senate President, I'm proud to have led institutional reforms for the benefit of our Senate employees. Mahal na mahal ko kayong lahat, mga empleyado ng Senado. For one, we have made sure to repay our employees' dedication with increased benefits, especially our long-serving employees who have devoted their life's work to the Senate. Marahil ay alam naman po ninyo kung ano-ano po ang mga monetary at non-monetary benefits na naibahagi sa inyo mula sa aking pamumuno. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. And I think we've been the most generous and I'm proud of it. We have also gone full speed ahead on regularizing our casual and contractual employees. So many of our employees, particularly the hardworking folks in the office of the Sergeant at Arms, sa OSA, are just one step away from being regularized. Tinutulungan po natin sila pumasa ng civil service exam para matulungan po natin sila sa prosesong ito. By taking care of our own, the Senate has been able to perform better supported as we are by the great work of our Senate employees. I salute each and every one of you for the job that you do. We are nothing without you. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na masuklian ang trabaho ninyo para sa Senado. You have helped shape the legacy of the Senate in its first two years under the 19th Congress. Now, I do not want to make any grand proclamations about the legacy of the Senate in these two years. Our legacy is not for us to define. Ultimately, that will be for the Filipino people to decide. All we can do is put work in and hope that our record speaks for itself. And the record, I'm happy to say, has been met with approval. Under our leadership, the Senate has seen some of the best approval and satisfaction ratings in recent history going back to 1988. Napakalaking karangalan po ito at nabigyan po kami ng lakas ng loob na lalo pang pagbutihin ang serbisyo natin dito sa Senado. As Senate President, I look back on these two years with immense pride over what the Senate has accomplished and stood for under my leadership. We have been bold and courageous as a Senate, unafraid to call out injustice where we see it, whether in our sovereign seas or within our own government. We have been fair-minded and truth-driven in the Senate, despite the political noise that often surrounds us. We have been a compassionate Senate, 
listening to and acting on our people's call for decent jobs, equitable wages, and accessible health care. And we have been a staunchly independent Senate. Let me say that again. We have been a staunchly independent Senate holding strong against all threats against our institution and against very threats to the very foundation of the democracy in which our nation is built. Indeed, these two years, I have come to realize that being Senate President is not only about leading the troops, but also putting oneself on the line. If that's what it takes to protect our institution. And so I have put myself on the line to shield the Senate from all attacks, particularly from efforts to diminish the powers of this institution as the country's last bastion of democracy. In January, we fought against the dreaded People's Initiative, which would have destroyed this very institution I'm standing here right now. God knows what I had to do to defend the Senate. Throughout all this, I could count on each and every one of our colleagues, both from the majority and the minority, whose wisdom and cooperation helps to shape the identity of the Senate for this post-pandemic age. But I want to thank my leadership team and those who stayed beside me till the very end. Ma'am Lauren, my Senate President Pro Tem, thank you very much for your loyalty and wisdom. I know many times temptations have been called to you, but you've, stayed, you've been steadfast. Marami salamat, ma'am. True test of character. Marami salamat. To my dear majority floor leader, pare, thank you for your hard work and dedication. Isa, isa ka sa pinakamasipag nating majority floor leader. Pare, thank you for your friendship till the very end. I love you. You know that. Mahal kita. I will always cherish your support. To Sunny, possibly the best finance chair this institution has ever had, I thank you, sir. I thank you. You know your father was like a father to me. And I'm happy to call you my brother, sir. Senator JV, what can I say? Your loyalty, your friendship and hard work which you help steer many important measures in this institution. Sir, I'm proud to call you my friend. Nancy, who's been loyal from day one as a friend, never waving. Thank you, my dear. I love you dearly and your family. Sherwin, my compadre, pare, marami salamat pare. You are a good friend and compadre. I'm proud that you're the ninong of my son. To Bato de la Rosa, who st stuck it out with me till the very end. Sir, I salute you, sir. To the others, my dear friends, my heart is broken. I am proud to have led a Senate that's been resolute in protecting our institution, our democracy, and our people. Being an independent leader, I gave way for each member of the Senate also to be independent and to come to decisions through collaboration rather than direction. I have never dictated my position on any of you. You know that. I've always supported your independence, which is probably why I face my demise today. I failed to follow instructions from the powers that be. Simple as that. I've listened to all my colleagues throughout my Senate presidency, and again, I listen to them today. As we head into a new period for the Senate, I fought the good fight. If I've ruffled some feathers in doing so, then so be it. Hindi ko tinanggap ang pagiging Pangulo ng Senado para lang hayaan na bumagsak ito. Today, I offer my resignation as Senate President of the Republic of the Philippines. And upon stepping down, I vow to serve 
as an independent member of the Senate, my allegiance as ever belonging only to the Filipino people. I leave with my held, head held high, knowing that I did what is right for the Senate and for the nation. I wish our new leadership the very best, and I pray that they will be steadfast in upholding the independence of this beloved institution. I will remain vigilant to make sure that the traditions and the rules of the Senate will remain steadfast. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang Senado. Mabuhay ang Republika ng Pilipinas. Thank you very much, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri, for your heartfelt speech. We are grateful for your service to the institution. Thank you for your service to the nation. Thank you for a job well done, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri. Session is suspended.